Back, Matt's back, and Matt, all eyes on Irma down south. Of course, that mm -hmm. is the main story, weather-wise, whether it's, you know, down in Florida, obviously, and even here in the Delaware Valley, all right. eyes are looking down to Florida. Lots of people know folks down there, right. and especially with the way Harvey just barreled into Texas and all the problems that were there, mm -hmm. we're just dealing with another round, too, almost, yeah. it feels like, right away. So let's get right to what's happening in the tropics. It's a very active pattern right now. This is what's going on across the Atlantic Basin currently. We have three active hurricanes, two of which are of the major variety, that is category three or higher. They are Irma and Jose, but we'll start with what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. That is Hurricane Katia. This one is a category two storm with sustained winds right around 100 miles an hour, and this is looking to make landfall most likely Tonight into tomorrow morning along the eastern coast of Mexico, we'll be looking for that to cause lots of issues with heavy rain, landslides, and of course those strong hurricane force winds as that barrels into the east coast of uh, Mexico. Hurricane Irma right in the center. This is the one that is of main concern for those of us here in the continental United States as it gets ready to move into the Florida Straits and then potentially hit the peninsula of Florida as well. But we don't want to forget about Hurricane Jose that is now a major category five hurricane with, or excuse me, category four hurricane with 150 mile an hour wind. So a rapidly intensifying storm right nipping on the heels of also a category four storm in Hurricane Irma. Now the good news about Jose is most likely going to curve out to open ocean before it gets really to any kind of land. So it's not at this point, especially not a threat to the continental United States and even the Caribbean. It looks like Jose going to miss most of those islands that did just get hammered by Irma. So this is what is going on currently. We just got this information at 11 o'clock. That's when the, la the latest National Hurricane Center advisory came in, coming in with 150 mile an hour wind. So still a very strong category for 157 miles an hour pushes it up into category five status. So we're just barely below that with a pressure of 927 millibars. Again, it's now just a little bit north of the north coast of Cuba and about 400 or so miles away from Miami at this point. Our infrared satellite image shows the eye of the hurricane at this point, undergoing what's called the eye, eye wall regenerative cycle. And that means that there's an outer and inner eye wall. They're kind of fighting with each other at this point. That allows a fluctuation in intensity. So from four to five, back to four, the only problem with this is, is while we would hopefully get a little bit of weakening, it's sitting over top of 80 degree water. So this very, very warm seawater is going to continue to help feed uh, this storm. And that's why it could potentially maybe even strengthen back close to a category five. Now our computer models, they've now shifted a little bit further to the west, Key West more into the mix now, but that does not mean that Miami is out of the uh, way by any stretch of the imagination. Hurricane Center latest path makes it landfall right around 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday in between Key West and the mainland, and then it will track northward as it goes through pretty much all of the peninsula of Florida. Now, the good news is it will rapidly decrease in intensity as it stays over land even a little bit longer. So we'll start to see some rain bands in the Miami area tonight, but it will be lasting probably all the way through until about Monday. Wind radius for us, hurricane force winds as far as 70 miles away from the center. And because of that, we have our hurricane warnings that went into effect at 9 o'clock this morning for South Florida, lasting until Wednesday. 74 degrees for our high temperature today. And here's your seven day forecast. Really good through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday highs. They're continuing to be in the low to mid 70s. And then, Rahel, we could start to see maybe the remnants of Irma by next Tuesday. Mm. We could get a few showers. Now, the good news is it will be very, very weak, if it's anything at all, by that point. Oh, boy. All right, Matt. Thank you. Mm -hmm.